How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I am Trainer Conger, and it is time for the rematch between myself and Isaiah. If you have not seen the first battle that we had, check it out, please, because you cannot watch a rematch without knowing what happened in the first battle. Come on. Alright, so, if you have seen it, here we go. My side is looking the same. With the exception of Amoongus. I brought the wrong Amoongus last time. So I went and grabbed my singles Amoongus. Which is a lot more appropriate this time around. My opponent is bringing a much more bulky team there. You see Porygon 2, you see Guskinor, Klefki, Seismitoad, Mega Ogino, and Trevenant. So while his team is a lot more bulky, I wasn't expecting him to hit me a lot with those attacks because he's a lot more invested in defense. On the start of this battle, I transformed into him. After looking at his moveset, I noticed that my gross man walls is set. So I go into my Mega Gross there. He actually double switches into Klefki. And then I switch out again. I go into Zapdos. So we get some switching around at the start of this match. Here he goes with heal block and that's unfortunate because now I know okay he has toxic. For those who don't know heal block is a move that will not allow you to go with roost or any healing items or any of that stuff in battle until you switch out so. And if you have toxic then you have a strategy that cannot be dealt with unless you switch out so. <laughs> Here I switch out going to my Kermit, or his Kermit rather, I transforming a him. And he actually predicted me to switch out. Had I stayed in with my Zapdos, Drain Punch is a fighting type move and it would be very effective. I expected him to switch out into Shaggy Tree, his Trevenant, and I knew he might want to go with a Leech Seed. Now is the perfect time to go into my Pyramidia, go with a Confide. That was a misplay on my part there because I was expecting another switch out. But we're switching out a lot already. That was a bad misplay there, but you know, in the end I get burned, which is, I guess, okay because I have, yes, I have residual damage on my side there, but I have Regenerator. Regenerator is that ability where if you switch out from battle, your HP will be your sword upon switching out. Now I do get burn off the Duskinor, but he has Rock Slide, which is four times effective against my Mustang. So unfortunately, my Mustang goes down. I transform into him again. Man, Ditto is so much fun to use. I transform into things and I hit them really hard with their attacks. Now I saw how much damage that did, and I was like, wow, that was so pitiful damage right there. And he does that to myself too, but he goes down to his burn recoil. Perfect. Expecting a normal type move, I go back into the gross man. Now is the perfect time to go with that mega evolution and go with a meteor mash. I wanted to see how much this does. And it's a two hit KO. I'm really happy about that. Unfortunately, his Thunderbolt does not do enough, so he's forced to switch out again. Goes back into his Trevenant here, and oh my goodness. My Mega Metagross is so powerful, it's able to take out that shady tree. He goes back into Seismitoad because Seismitoad kind of walls that Metagross I have. He expects me to switch out, which is why he went for a Poison Jab. Poison Jab would not work against Metagross because it's a Steel-type Pokemon. Now we see Ogino coming in. I go with a Drain Punch. It's super effective. So much good predictions on my side here. Actually on both sides, interestingly enough. We see Ogino Mega evolving here. And Mega Ogino is actually a normal fairy type, and we see that my Amoongus Pyramidia walls this set, unless it has Flamethrower. 
unfortunately he does have flamethrower and I try to lower his special attack because that's my only way. If I can lower his special attack by a couple of stages, he cannot really touch me with his flamethrower there. He goes back into his Sir Quacks here and that was a good play because he traces my ability Regenerator, which Regenerator will work out here because of his HP level. See at my at my range, I'm going to be taking damage from from the burn, but my opponent's health is almost the same there, almost at the same amount. So he can switch out anytime, get his health back, etc. That's all I'm saying. So we do put the Porygon two to sleep. I figured that I could take him out with an Earthquake, but he recovers instead of switching out, which I guess that's the same thing, just saying there. So expecting another recover coming from that Porygon Q, he actually goes with the Psyshock predicting Pyramidia to come in, which that's okay, I can just go back and get my health back and go back into Postman. He recovers again. So we're having kind of a stall war here, and this is this is just how awesome this match was. I was so happy to have this battle because we know our sets, we know everything. Unfortunately, he gets the freeze hats on my Mega Metagross here, which that's going to come to bite me. He gets a critical hit too, so the hats is on his side. He's able to take out Gross Man. So, that's just unfortunate there. I knew he might have Thunderbolt, and I also knew he might not get a critical hit, because I knew I can survive an Earth or a uh, Thunderbolt here. And that was the perfect time to go with a Belly Drum to maximize my attacking power and go with an Aqua Jet, which has priority. So I'll be attacking first. He goes back into Ogonel, and then he goes back into Kermit. Really good play because he has Water Absorb, which erases my Water type moves and then he restores health. And then he has Poison Jab. I could have switched out right there, which I don't know, I probably should have just switched out, but that's neither here nor there. He goes back into Ogino. I go with the Spore. Why not? We're actually getting close to the end of his battle here. Now here's a fair warning guys, I'm actually not going to show you the entire battle because this was a very long match. I actually had my camera die at the end of the recording, so we'll not see the entire thing. But don't worry, I'll tell you what happened on what you guys missed. Anyways, we transform into Ogino with my Ditto. After I put him to sleep here, which is perfect, that means that he can switch out and I don't have to worry about his Ogino for now. And I also knew that I had to get that burn off from my Pyramidia and vice versa. So we go with a heal bell and we do just that. He goes with an earthquake but my Amoongus is physically bulky and earthquake just doesn't cut it. Even a poison jab doesn't do anything and we're going to finish him off with a Giga Grain, I thought, but he survives it, darn it. I'm not really sure how he survived it. Granted, this is a bulky Amoongus, but that's just something that, you know, I probably should have just given him more special attack EVs, but nope, not in this battle for sure. He goes back into Ogino again. We're going to go with special attack drops here. He actually wakes up first turn. And he goes with a flamethrower. After minus one, that just doesn't do anything. But he gets the burn has again. Which is crazy. I don't know how he does that, but now here is where I predicted him to switch out. I switch out and go into Ditto, transforming the ham, which has the poison jab to not only take care of his own seismic toad but the Ogino because Poison Jab is super effective against Ogino, who's a fairy type. And that's the end of the match, guys, because I couldn't record the end game there. So that was the epic rematch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, 
subscribe and I will have another Wi-Fi battle go out this week. Later this week, I mean. Alright, you guys have a great day. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, trainers.